All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are flying Rotor Rocks. Got fascinated by these after losing the first QCR version of it. So I scratch built this one. Um, it's similar to the QCR, just did a couple things different, but for the most part, it's the same deal. I'm gonna be flying on a B62 just as a test and experiment. And um, that's about it. So go on and subscribe to the channel, and we will be right back with a flight. It's Model Rocks 321. All right, guys, so here we go. We got my scratch built rotor rock going on a B62. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There it is. B62, no ejection. Not cool. No ejection fired. And those are brand new B62s. Well, that's that. <laughs> Wow, all right, well, I did not hear ejection uh, fire, so we will see the damage. First, this is my second rotor rock. No ejection fired. Oh yeah, crushed the end of that, that's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much destroyed, so. I will definitely have to check that engine, but from what I heard, no ejection fired because the blades would have uh, actually, yeah. Wow, so that's that right there, guys. My rockets. Look at that right there. Look at that damage. So we'll get another shot of this. I have another one. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's do it again. All right, guys. So here we go with the second flight of a rotor rock. This is an upscaled one. I got it on a D12.3. The first version flew on a B62. I thought the ejection didn't fire, but the blades, for some reason, did not catch wind. So this is going to be a second chance at that, just bigger. So I'm going to keep going, and we're going to see what happens. And I never have another one following this one, so we're going to keep uh, going with the rotor rocks for today. It's my Rock 321. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, yeah. So there we go. I'll give it a shot. All right, guys, here we go. We got the upscaled rotor rock, oh. rotor raptor. Oh, it's power. Yep, yeah, power. Gotcha. The uh, rotor raptor, somebody gave it the name. So let's see if it does its thing. I have a D12 3 in there, and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There it is, whistling. Let's see. And there we got blades, we got blades, and we got rotation. Outstanding. There it is. Nice. We got uh, doing a little wobble, but he's he's coming down. <laughs> blades in rotation. Wind's going the same way. Same direction, yeah. Check it out. It is doing its thing. It's coming down. Uh, yeah. It's almost coming right back. Yeah, that's all I ask is what it's doing right now. And get that rotate. Kind of doing a little, yeah, he's, yeah. Nice, that's all I asked right there. There we go. That's what I wish the first one had done, but I'll take this. Boom, on top of the hill. Look at that. Oh, it did? Yeah, it landed on top of the hill. <laughs> that's awesome. That is cool. So there we go, the Rotor Raptor. Somebody gave it the name. I put out a little call to ask him for a name. So, all scratch built, just following, you know, prehistoric designs and things like that. But I hadn't seen an upscaled one. I just upscaled it myself and checked center of gravity and we're good. Oh, that was cool. That was fun. That was fun. And thanks to Mr. Mr. Mob Rockets did that launch for me, so he, yeah. he gets some credit. I know how to push buttons. He did to press button. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I got to climb this hill right here and see what we got. So cool. All right, so here you go. Just arrived at the Rotor Raptor. It's laying here on this hard material. Motors in, blades are out. Nice, a little ding there, but nothing, um, nothing horrible. So that's cool. Couldn't ask for a better, couldn't ask for a better flight. It took it took wind, rotating clockwise as I want it. So perfect. Let's get down off this hill. All right, so moving right along, you just saw my upscaled rotor rock, the rotor raptor as it's called. And now we're gonna to get to this unnamed one. This is a four bladed rotor rock. It has two lower blades on the top and it has the regular long blades running down the sides. Um, 
totally experimental on a B62. That last B62, the motor was fine. It did eject. It just, I don't know, the blades didn't take wind. It just came down and it crashed. So that's what you got to do. You got to learn and you got to move forward. So we're going to um, send this guy up on a B62. Look for four blade action. So let's get this set up and we'll be going. Right, here we go. We got my four bladed rotor rock experimental going on a B62. And we are going, going to get this thing going off. Mob Rockets is doing my honors today. So we're going in five, four, three, two, one. There we go. We got a pop. All right, flip around. Blades are out, and we got is that all four. That got oh, it's yep. doing it. Nice. It is doing it. The experimental all four blades are rotating. That is dope. Can't ask for a better. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Nice and touchdown on the B62. Totally experimental. Model Rocks 321, guys. That was yeah. It did it. Wow, nice. Nice. All physics, you know, when it comes down to it, it's just physics. So all four blades, it popped out. B62 motor is in. Landed. All rubber bands popped those blades out. Yeah, that's that was excellent right there, guys. That's my favorite flight of the day. So um two out of three, my first one, um, the blades didn't open, it just crashed. I don't know what happened with that one, but yeah, so there we go, guys. That's Model Rocks 321. Stay tuned. I have one more flight for you. Got one more flight coming up for you, but yeah. Couldn't ask for a better flight. That was sweet. All right, guys, so here we go. Last flight of the day will be my scissor wing transport. Haven't had a chance to fly this in a while because I was in the park. But today we're going to give it a shot out here in this desert area. So we have the scissor wing transport and we're going to do it on a C63. Let's go. So here we go. We got the scissor wing transport. We're going on a C63. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There it goes, angling. And there's the pop, there's the glider. Yep, everything is working. Yep. Yeah, glider's doing its spirals around, but I do not see parachute. I do, you're fine. Oh, okay, thank yeah. you. Glider is doing what it's supposed to do, these nice circular motions. Coming down right here directly, very close to the pad, that is nice. And gliders on the ground. And we're doing good. Mike said he spotted the booster. Nice. That was a great flight. So we're over this way? Yeah, right next to my car. Really? Yep. Wow, I didn't see the booster at all. I saw the glider, but right here near Mike's car, we have the booster. So, and pod kicked out. So that was great. That was a another textbook flight. Even though I missed this whole <laughs> I missed this whole thing, but it's all here. So that's what's important. Got my scissor wing transport back. And that is perfect, guys. We will I will catch you guys on the debriefing. So see you in a little bit. Smile Rocks 321. Subscribe to the channel. And we are out. Catch you on another one. All right, it is debriefing time. It is debriefing time. Rotor Rock Madness and uh, Swing Wing Transport. I flew, that was my last flight. First flight was right here. As you witnessed, we had a tragedy. I'm not sure what happened. I still, I don't get it. Everything was set up good. Um, you tie the blades on, ejection charge flyer, I mean, ejection charge fires and it burns the thread. The thread goes through the body tube and it hold the blades down while they are spring loaded with the rubber band ejection charge i initially thought that it did not fire however it did fire there's no reason why it shouldn't and it's close motors here there's a little hole it just had to travel that far to burn the thread set up the same way as the qcr one that i lost the first time i ever flew one of these um it went up and i it ejection fired apparently 
Because I do see burns in here. I don't know. I can see this got pushed in. Like it got burned inside of that um, nose cone. Got, and it hit the ground. And it kind of crushed it a little bit. But I'm trying to decide if I'm going to repair this or just keep the ones I have. Let me get these rubber bands off there. I don't know. These are... I did one thing I did notice. I don't know if it had any effect, but it did have. That's no, no, that's no issue. They're still stretchy and good. I did spray paint the yellow, and I got a little bit of yellow on these, but that don't that shouldn't affect anything to do with the blade. Should have still, uh, still, still should have swung out. But yeah, it hit the ground kind of hard. You can see here we got a, a crimple there. That's all crushed. Yeah, this one hinge. This is the hinge that this blade popped off. Which this blade is still good, and this hinge is actually still good this whole section is beefed up um so it can possibly be fixed i can see cutting if i'm gonna get rid of this crimple part cutting putting a spacer in there or a coupler redoing the top something i may fix it because the bottom hey i don't know let me see this is still got this got a crimple crimple there that can be fixed also i don't know fins are all good everything's good other than what you see up top all broken, couple crimples. This one still, yeah, still swings out, and this actually meets where it's supposed to meet. So I may attempt to fix it because the flight itself was great. Um, you guys can see some hook damage. Yeah, and this is kind of beefed up. It's tough because you, I kind of line the inside of this tube with epoxy. Let me give it a little more strength, and it's still kind of taking shape because it also it has this very hard foil foil tape and that was lined with epoxy you can see it's already kind of getting its shape back somewhat and this guy yeah even the cone itself I thought it would be worse yeah, everything's kind of beefed up here but I may get it all I may get it fixed up and get this thing flying again because this fly these work so these work as you saw with the other ones so I may I may visit this I did like it I like the color scheme and everything the black and yellow it's kind of cool but yeah so that was the first Rotor Rock. This is my, actually my second time launching one, and um, the first one lost. Performed well, lost, but it's just somewhere. So my God, it's gone. But this one, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what could have happened. Ejection fired, burned the threads. When that once that happened, you should get. And it was a, a B62. That was on a B62 motor, so I should have actually. I should have got action. But yeah, the blade just turned over and it came down and hit. So, but. You live and you learn. First flight of that one. That was what happened. The next flight, I decided to go big. I went with my... What did somebody named this for me. I asked for names for this big upscaled Rotor Rock, um, which performed great. So it is the Rotor Raptor. That is the name, the Rotor Raptor. So thanks to the person that gave this its name. I put it in the community section on, in, on uh, YouTube. Let me get this motor out. This is, I sent it up on a D12-3. It leaped off the pad, yeah, so it was a great flight on a D12-3. Motors always have all kind of junk in them. So yeah, I sent it up there pretty good. Um, great flight. I'm going to take these rubber bands off. Yeah, great flight. All scratch build. I had fun building this. Um, just got the nose cone on there. I got screws holding the nose cone. In case I got to get down there and do something, I just got you know, screws holding the cone on. There's one there. Just two. One there and one there. But yeah, super stable, great flight. The, the blades kicked out like that, all three of them, and um, and they begin its action. Gave me a nice, nice rotation coming down. The fins are uh, unpainted except for this one. This is red, and I got red underneath here, and then I got a red cone. So, great flying rocket. Scratch built. I'm proud of this one. The Rotor Raptor didn't have a name until someone gave me a name for it. So it's the Rotor Raptor. But yeah, upscaled version of a classic. Then after that, I flew my other Rotor Rock. So the story with this one is I wanted to do a two-bladed version. You probably saw me drop some pictures of it just as a two-bladed Rotor Rock. Two-bladed one, like that. It was supposed to be like that. So I sent a message to Matt, um, and I asked him... Do he think, is it, has he ever seen it, does he think it'll work? He said, typically they act like an air brake. So you'll get these two, they'll pop up, and then it'll just kind of fall down, tail first, just slowing it down, like air brake. He said, unless you could find a way to spin it up, and you know, with doing that, you would angle the, the fins, give them a little, 
situation like that where it'll spin up and possibly once these pop out you'll get rotation coming back down but I was looking at it and looking at it and I had another blade sitting around so I decided to cut the blade in half and make two lower blades and as you saw it performed great it was really nice coming down watching that four blade action like that yeah that was really a nice sight to see and I used these mini screw eyes I mean all lightweight stuff for the most part I made these hooks I didn't have any hooks so the lower blades were doing this thing and up top we had the bigger rotors doing their thing yeah just uh it was great it was really great I'm really proud of both of them I'm proud of the upscale one and I'm proud of this smaller version but four blades. I'm trying to get the rubber bands hooked on, so let me go off screen for a minute. So yeah, and it was something like that, as you can see, and as you saw already. So you got two, and it was spinning uh, clockwise as design. Nice dihedral, airfoil, then dihedral. So yeah, and then my fins, I had just gave them a little deal like that. They were, um, I had them the other way, and these fins, I kind of modeled them off the X-ray fins, but they're a, a little different. And I just reversed them. I um going and gave them their little airfoil design, design, and it, it came down. It recovered as designed. That was a great flight on a B62. B62s with very minimum paint put those rockets way up there. So this was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna move that one. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new or if you've been here, hit the like button. Support the channel. Last but not least was my one of my all-time favorites. Scissor wing transport takes off. Wings pop around like that. And then next thing you know, you got a glide and you got a booster kick out. Today, I didn't see the booster at all. Mike spotted it. It was right near, near right near his car. But this gave some nice circular glides as designed. I have a little piece of little, little, little piece of clay right there. And it was just um, doing its thing, doing its nice spirals. Nice spirals coming down. So it was perfect. That was a nice flight to end the day. So... That is it for right now, guys. More launch videos coming, more fun stuff coming, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Subscribe to the channel and support the channel any way you can. I appreciate you all, and we will see you on another video. Smart Rocks 3, 2, 1.